How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to build a mock data API using Node.js. Now, this here is going to be a really simple 5 to 10 minute solution that'll let you uh, mock some data and return it in a list form from an API. So this is perfect for those situations where you want to test out a front end component and you need an API, or if you're just trying to test an app in general, this here can come in handy. So we can see here I've defined an endpoint called employees, which returns a list of employee objects all with random data. Now, you are also able to provide a query param to say, for example, a count of five to return five items or of course, whatever you like. Let's Let's begin by creating a new uh, Node.js project. So npm init-y. We're going to need two dependencies for this project, express and something called chance. Chance lets you generate random data and it's a really nice and clean library. Let's say npm i express and then chance just like this. And now that these two are complete, we can create a new index.js file and get express working. So we'll say here const express equal to require. And of course, require express. You can use import export syntax if you're comfortable, but I'll stick to common JS just for simplicity uh, in this tutorial. Now down here, we're going to of course create our app with express just like this as per usual. And then down here, let's define our first route. So we'll say here app.get, we're going to uh, replicate the employees example, which I just showed you. So we'll say here employees. Now, of course, at this point, you can um, specify whatever endpoint you want for your own specific scenario. But I'm going to use employees just as an example, of course. Now, let's accept the request and response object and hop down here. For now, we're just going to say uh, response.json and then return a simple uh, JSON object, for example, hello and then world, just to verify that this is, of course, working. Then down here, we're just going to say app.listen, listen on port 3000. And I'll just say here, you know, console log uh, API server running. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to save this and run the script and we get here API server running. Let's go inside the browser and see what happens. If I go to this tab right here, go to forward slash employees, press enter, and we get that JSON response. So, so far, everything's working perfectly fine. Now, how do we get this mock data um, to be returned? Well, let's take advantage of chance JS. I'm going to define a function which returns an object containing one of our mock employees. Let's go inside here, make a new folder called generators. Uh, there might be a better name for this, but I'll stick to generators for this video. Now I'm going to make a file per generator. So I want to generate employees. Therefore, I'm going to say employee.js. You can of course have however many uh, that you like within this directory. Now, from here, we're going to simply uh, require chance JS. So we'll say here, const chance equal to require, then provide here chance, okay? Now, we're going to instantiate chance by saying dot capital C and then chance, and we're going to call that constructor, okay? This way, we can now just say chance dot, and we get access to all of these methods to generate that random data. From here, we're going to say module dot exports we're going to export a single function and it's going to be really straightforward guys we're going to simply just return an object we'll say return new object and here you're going to want to put all of your properties in my case i'm going to say firstly employee id now an employee id may start at 1000 and end at 10000 so i'm going to say chance dot and i'm going to take advantage of the integer uh, function. Okay. We can provide some options to this if we like. Integer options, as you can see right here, as the param type. I'm going to provide that object right there. And I'm going to say uh, Windows key and space. That's not right. Control and space. There we go. We're going to say integer min for 1000 max for 9999. Okay. This is going to generate an integer between 1000 and 9999. Perfect. I'm going to stop right here, okay? I'm going to go back inside index.js and I'm going to call 
that function response.json and I'm just going to say employee just like this okay I'll save this go back in the browser and we get on a refresh employee ID 2147 refresh again and we get different numbers so that right there is your main sort of workflow for that for that random data to generate let's add a few more properties let's say name chance dot name and of course what I'm getting at here is you can provide uh, so you can take advantage of many different options that chance has uh, let me try again let me just say uh, let's just do uh, occupation now chance dot again you have all these different methods which you can use to generate your random data there are many options here to choose from and a lot of these also provide options such as this object here to further fine-tune what you actually want okay now going back to the name I'm just gonna say uh, nationality here and stick to English for this video now for occupation we're gonna say chance dot profession okay and here we're going to include a rank so rank just means include you know junior senior and so on in the job title Okay, now for the salary, we're just going to say chance dot dollar. All right, get a dollar value with a minimum of let's just say twenty thousand and a maximum of let's say one hundred thousand. I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh, and we get that extra data, uh, of course, being generated right there. Okay, now how do we make this generate? For example, uh, fifty or five or whatever it might be. Well, again, pretty straightforward. Back inside the index.js file. Let's define a function which handles this sort of uh, receiving of the counts in the URL and then handles that looping over to generate more data. All right. So we'll say here const mock data equal to a new arrow function. It's going to accept the request object, uh, the response object, and also the generator function. It's going to first uh, create a new array called data. This is where all of the data will be pushed to as we loop over, um, you know, to the maximum number. All right. From here, we're going to say for let i equal to zero, i less than, and here we're just going to say 30 for now. We'll come back to it, but let's generate 30 items. So i less than 30, i plus plus, and we'll say here data dot push. Let's add to the array and call that generator just like I've done right down here because we're going to be passing it in. All right. So it's going to call the generator function. And also worth mentioning that this, the reason why I've made this mock data function is because we want to use this thing for all of the generators and not just the employee one. Okay. And that's why it gets passed in. Now we're just going to say here, response.json as we did uh, as we did prior and respond with that data that array of items all right from here we are now going to call mock data okay right here call mock data pass in request pass in response and lastly a reference to the generator function employee okay I'll save this go back in the browser refresh and we get 30 of those generated employees okay now last thing to do in VS code is going to be to accept the count query parameter to control how many items get returned for this up here we'll say const count equal to we're going to check the uh, the query string first we'll say request dot query dot count if this doesn't uh, if this doesn't exist, if there's no counts provided in the URL, then default to, let's say, 25. Then we're going to use counts right here. Save this back in the browser and we are now done. Refresh. I can now say, for example, a count of two to only get two employees back. And of course, there we go. It's working perfectly fine. So that is how to build your own mock data generator uh, API using Node.js and Express. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.